Welcome to ELED platform of Better Fit Group of Schools. My name is Mr. Isida Momosa. You're welcome. Uh, <clears throat> Before we talk on the topic we have for JSS2 class, please, I would like you to pick your pen and paper and put down what you are seeing right now on the board, very, very important. I will say that <clears throat> with the, board, the topic we have on the board is titled storage. Storage. Store. From the word store. Storage. What are we storing? But I will say that what is storage? We are saying that storage is the process Anything that has to do with keeping things outside the normal spot where that things are being kept, but this very particular one is kept for a purpose, kept for a future, especially food items or materials are known as what storage. For instance, like what I have here on the board, I said that storage is the process of what preserving food items and other items in order to prevent them from getting spoiled or damaged from getting spoiled or damaged for future what use you see how Samaria said for future purpose what is being kept for the benefit of everyone kept from the word store, in the storehouse, kept in a very particular spot, making it different from every other material be used every time, kept for a purpose, for future use. And what are these things? According to this topic, we are looking at the food item, preserving food for what future purpose. Why? So that it can be destroyed, so that it can be damaged. From what we have on the board here, I also have metal. Metal of storage. Metal of storage. Number one, I use the word drying. When you talk about drying, we are looking at the use of natural sun, very natural from the atmosphere above the what? ozone layer, to what carry out a proper drying. Of food items like what I said on the board, I said, e.g., like the corn, known as maize, the rice, the pepper, and beans. These very particular items I just listed have been offered time dried up for future purpose using the natural sun. Though there are other means of also doing that, like what I also have here again, number two, smoking. Smoking, the use of fire, what is proper, properly known as domestic fuel, like the fire wound. This are what properly known as what domestic fuel. Smoking, the use of fire to do what? Smoke to dry meat, fish. I use the word etc, which means they are still modern, like the meat, like the fish. I usually be dried up. Or be protected or be stored using the word smoking. Again, also number three, silos. Silos. This one is mainly used by big enterprise, companies, brewers, just name them. Yeah, because our producers are big, also are vested in use silos. Okay, because the reason behind is that they can afford it and it's very expensive. And so to say, silos are used for storing grains. But mind me, before anything is kept here, usually fumigant is usually used to prevent pest or any form of insect to penetrate in to eat all the grace that will be stored in silos. So after the fumigant has taken place, after using chemicals to fumigate this part, then 
is now being assessed before grace and he was tall in what science. And a good example of that, like the rice and the beans, as tall in here. Then number four, we have, I use the word bands. Ah, bands. B A R O N X. Bands. I use for storing tubers. I use for storing tubers. Maybe some of us, like the kids, as we are growing up, you have not seen band. Maybe some of you have seen. Majorly used by farmers. Very, very important. They store in here using what? Uh, bands to store their own tubers. And when they store their tubers, like what I have here, I use the word tubers, e.g., yam, a very good example. And because of this, that yam can last a very long time. A very, very long time. They use uh, bamboo stick, strong wound, also pegged on the ground. And what feeds these yams on it is called bam. And at the end of it all, they look for palm front, dry one or fresh one to cover on top of it so that it can be well worth pre or preserved. Then number five, baggy. Baggy. That word baggy involved the use of sack or bags. The use of sack or bags for storing grains also. And before these sacks or bags are used, they are also checked to know whether they are insect or weevils that might likely destroy the food that is stored in them. So after that, we now discover that a good example too that of the food items stored in here are like the beans, are like the granules, the rice, etc., etc., which means there are more than one. That is what that is why I use the word etc. Again, I also use another word number six, cami. That word from the word cam, cam. This method is used for storing perishable books. They are used for storing perishable books. A good example, like the fresh tomatoes, oh sorry, okay, like the fresh fish, tomatoes, beef, and this beef properly known as meat. Very, very important. So, it's good for your health at your age, at this tender age. Uh -huh, but notwithstanding, what we are looking at right now is what? Canning for the storage of what? Fresh fish, tomatoes, and beef, etc. And I will say that what are the reasons? What are the reasons for storing things? That word reason means why do we store food items? Or better still, why do we store things? Number one. These food items are stored, like what I wrote, I said we store for future use. We store for future use. This is what mommy and daddy do every day, so that you can have enough to eat, to store, or we store for future use. Number two, it helps to retain the quality of the food. The quality is still there, stay intact. It does not lose its value. Whenever you get to pick it to use, you still get what? The quality. Then, number three, it helps to prevent our food from being destroyed by pests. That is one of the reasons why we store them. It helps to prevent our food from being destroyed by pests, such as rats. All these are farm enemies. Then, weevils. Farm enemies, especially the rats, the rabbit, the squirrel. Do I hear that squirrel here? It is, but it's part of them. They are what enemy to what farm what or to farmers. Better still. So why do we store the food to prevent our food from being destroyed by pests? Then number four, some farmers store their food all in the name of they want to make more money, higher price for what like what I wrote about. Some farmers store their food for them to sell later at higher price. At higher price. They want to make money. They want to make enough money. They store their food to sell at what? Higher price. Then I will say that, I think, okay, the last survey of the year store. T 
things we can store. Now, we have two things. Uh, it's being classified to two. Number one, perishable items. Number two, non perishable items. Like the number one, perishable items. Uh, perishable items have a short life. When I mean short life, it means it easily goes poet. Like what I just said, I said, e.g., fresh meat. If it's not preserved, it's quite easily. If you get the fresh meat in the morning, just give that fish at least maximum two hours. It's already bad, or even less. Depends on how fresh it was when you got that meat. And again, fresh fish easily gets spoiled. Some of the fruit, even some of our vegetables, though it's not stated there, the vegetables not stated there. But these are some of the things that are classified other perishable items. Then again, number two aspect of it, non-perishable items. You see the difference now? Non-perishable items. The first one is perishable items. The other one is non-perishable items. They don't, like, the non-perishable items don't get wet easily. At all. At all. Like the rice, the beans, the maize, the yam, etc. I use the yam because, like, the yam we normally get these days, when chemical has been used these days to what grown or carry out uh, agricultural practice, so to say, uh, the use of fertilizers, chemicals, usually you not discover that some of the yam got in these days don't even last long, they get spoiled. But the one that's normally what propagated by the farmer naturally without chemical, those ones last longer. But that would say that we have a good example as rice, beans, yam, maize, etc. as goods that are more perishable. These ones get, they don't get spoiled easily. I would say all this. Remember initially I said try get the note, get the pen and put down. Very very important. Then this the next thing we are going to look at here is the practicing exercise. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is very important that you carry out this exercise. Don't say because you are told you won't do this. Very, very important. What are these exercises? Number one, what is storage? Number two, list any three methods for storage. List any three methods for storage. Number three, give two examples each for A, perishable items, B, non-perishable items. Number four, number four, list three reasons for storing farm produce. I take it again. Number four, list three reasons for storing farm produce. Thank you very much for the class for today.